Kevin Harvick, your winner at Bristol, but some surprise names, as Adam said, also appeared in the top five, including Ricky Stenhouse Jr., who battled back from two laps down to finish runner-up. Caitlin Vincy has more now from Roush Fenwing Well. And look who's here with us, Andy Petrie, who does not have on tennis shoes or cowboy boots, and no. Landon Castle, who does have on sneakers today. Welcome in, uh, fresh off of Bristol, and uh, what an event it was, huh? You like my sneakers, don't you? I do. I had <laughs> yeah. to work that in. Hey, though, some changes to the track at, at Bristol. Uh, what was your reaction, and, and are we going to see more of this? At they were able to take, go out there and take a chance. Yeah, I mean, I think uh, fun out at Richmond, it would all the like yellow the, smoke. Yeah, it'd be like a yellow <laughs> yeah. smoke instead of white. So maybe that's something that that we'll see come back in the future. And and I think this definitely starts the conversation. And I don't know that we would call Bristol a wild card, but we certainly had some drivers up front on Sunday that we don't always see there. It is on the outside of the chase looking in right now. He's got to work really hard if he wants to make the postseason. But he made the most of his opportunity at Bristol, which he thought was his best. Yeah, and I'm looking at another name on that board too, and we talk about. Adam a lot, Chase Elliott. Mm -hmm. He came out of the gate so hot. He's had a rough two months. We have a graphic for all those gentlemen on the bubble trying to get into the playoffs and how they've done at the, the next path here, but we do know what day it is, at least Tuesday. So it's time to vote for this week's radio sweetheart. Bristol did not disappoint. Who had the dirtiest potty mouth on the radio? You'll hear a lot more in Radioactive, but here are your three radio sweetheart nominees. By popular demand, emoji. <laughs> Analysis. Look, look at the mess you guys we, have created over dissecting there. Dissecting these emojis to tell a story. After you've told Andy Petrie what an emoji. Oh, is that what is. this is? Well, yeah. he still doesn't. Don't right. even talk to me. About that's it. good that's advice. Newman, too. How about the guys on the outside? And and we start out with the first guy, minus 35, Trevor Bain. Where's he at in in confidence? That's a good one. All right, next up, next up, you, you guys as drivers know that it can be dangerous to race around those guys that are that are in the chase. Emoji that describes racing around those uh, racing around was pretty tough. After a 40th at Bristol, that's probably exactly what he was thinking. Uh, okay, guys, Bristol's new surface. We talked about it at the top of the show. The emoji you would use to describe the work they did to improve that racetrack. Adam, thank you. With those standings, we have Brandon with us now because we are building the ultimate Xfinity Series driver. If you could pick and choose the best parts of the stars on the circuit on Saturdays, Brandon is helping us pick who he thinks has the best attributes in a couple different categories. We start with best qualifier. Brandon, who does it better than anybody else on Saturday? Yeah, these are also, uh, you know, all, all great choices here. Uh, JGR cars been okay. Now the draft. Who gets it done at Daytona and Talladega better than anyone else? You want to line up behind him when it's on the line. Who are you going with? I uh, I don't want to toot my own horn on this one. I was I was really really biased. You know, I kind of want to go with myself on this one since we led a lot of laps at Talladega. But I think if you uh, hit Elliott okay. Sadler there, that's who I'm going to have to choose. He, uh, another, another seasoned veteran, uh, you know, multiple. Uh, Throw in a 17 hour rain delay, and you've got pent up aggression ready to come spewing out on the radio. We've captured it all in this epic edition.